I just learned about this really cool website. It's called the OSNIT Framework. And you can go ahead and check it out. I'll post a link in the description below. What it says here is it's focused on gathering information from free tools or resources. The intention is to help people find free OSNIT resources. Some of these sites might include requiring registration or offer more data for money. But you should be able to at least get a portion of it available at no cost. And so what it does, all you need to do is depending on what type of OSNET you're looking for, you can go ahead and click, for example, on domain name. So here's domain name. I'll just go click on it like I had just first gone to this. And let's say you wanted to just do a who is, right? This is very simple. You can go ahead and click here. And then it would give you a few websites that you can go ahead and click on to take you to um, where you can actually run a who is. And if you click here, it'll has hyperlinks. So all you need to do is put the IP address and you're, you're searching, right? So that's pretty cool. But what I thought was really interesting, uh, if you go here to exploits and advisories, you click here, you can see you have, you know, your typical sites, MITRE, ExploitDB, uh, NVD, CVE details, MITRE. I mean, we all know about those, right? One I didn't know about was Zero Day Today. So if you click on Zero Day Today, takes you to the website um, tries to make sure you're a human being okay click there and you can see it's it's uh, checking some information here creating a secure connection and what do you know here are all the latest zero days some of which uh, are from this year so we have one 09 13 2023 this is uh, for one that's quite interesting they have the win RAR uh, vulnerability there. And it's just super interesting that they have these really, um, you know, like the latest exploits here and you can actually buy them. So if you wanted to click here, go there. And you can see you could actually purchase it and download it on your computer, right? Now, the thing about this, how would you use this as a blue teamer, right? Because I have no malicious intent of using this website, but the way I could use it is if I'm trying to stay on top of the latest threats, I can check out Zero Day Today and see what's available. If it's available for download, well, that's a sign that that exploit is going to be used, um, you know, worldwide. And so you should probably get on top of patching, right? Whereas if you don't see an exploit on here, well, that's, that's good news. It's not being widely circulated yet. But if you just want to stay on your top of threat intelligence, this is one way of doing it. And of course, it has links to other resources like MITRE ATT&CK, ExploitDB, NVD, some of which I'm pretty sure are using already. But it's just more tools for the toolbox for the blue teamers.